Kill. And uh, sometimes there's a, there's a story that uh, I'm going to go over in church about how uh, back in Old Testament they talk about in uh, Thessalonians about how uh, our lives relate to green beans and uh, how, how we stack our faith into uh, a small package, uh, kind of a, you know, a bean uh, leaf. And uh, we let it grow more and more each day with uh, the way we uh, act and uh, you know, show ourselves. And uh, like, like a shelf like you say. As known in life, things can be, you know, packaged into, you know, a complicated way. And back in Romans, uh, in the time, Malachi begins to talk about how when, when non-Christians begin to, to begin to discourage you, they begin to squeeze you and put you into a small box as a religion. And as set serves the same purpose as a flat box. And you see by the surface area of this box that not much could fit in here. And through religion, we know that we're free in what we do. And this box can now somewhat expand and turn into something greater. But it's still these empty holes where non-religious people get enter in and make it a small right, box. So from this small box, we take something as, as as a car, you would say, and it's it's a way to get away from some, from certain places, such as you you go to something and you you don't enjoy it. Of course, you would get in your car and drive off. But in that way, uh, when non-Christians confront you, you can you can let your your heart go somewhere else in this car. Or you could, you could take it to so much, something so much greater and build, build these people up. But in our day-to-day -day lives, it doesn't seem that simple. And as, as we go on, we, we realize that our faith has, has grown into something so much simpler. But, but once you realize that you can change it to something so much greater, which it truly is, made by, you know, by what, by what Christ did, basically, you can now kind of take a conception of I have died to myself, and I could live for something so much greater and build on that. And um, when you go back to uh, the Jewish times, uh, when, when it was a lot bigger of a faith, and... Uh, Rabbis used to uh, go on to a parable about uh, a little boy named Isaiah. Not the Isaiah named from the Bible, but the uh, the young child Isaiah, uh, known of Meredith. And when you uh, when you read this parable, it talks about how when you when you receive the certain seed of of this grain that he, he was a farmer and he wants to receive the seed of, seed of grain that he can plant something so much greater and uh, he expects nothing more than just, just a thin of grain to come out of this but then, but then once you, you truly realize in this parable that, that he received so much more than he expected so as we can take from our faith we, we hope for something greater. We, we expect so, so little of, of what to come out. But, but what really matters is, is what we're really trying to do. And, um, and...
So in this, we expand to something so much greater and in the, the true freedom of, of knowing that the Christ is, uh, is with us. And in that story of Isaiah earlier said, he, he takes the seed into something so much greater and builds on to, to an ex, ex, expected greatness of this, this thickness of the wheat. And he just praises of, of like what he, what, he, what he brought from this situation. And uh, what, what, like what can you take from this, from this young story of Isaiah that he surely did expect something lesser than this seed? His mother, in fact, actually inputs into the story about how she has, she basically says, I have no faith in you, young son. And he says, he says, what, what is faith to me that I am sure that my wheat will grow? And that, that's, how, that's how things kind of accumulate in his story about how he knows that he can pick from something lesser and have no faith in something of his mom saying there is no faith in that. And as we can package some things into it and make it so simple that it grows into something so large. So as we, as we finally realize that we should, we should boast and, and trust in what we expect out of the thing, so much lesser and, and I would say like false almost and um, as we as we just truly realize of the, of the true opportunity we have from this situation and now when you expand this box sometimes it is thrown away and put back in history where you can't even remember that you packaged this out and expected so much greater and run this through. But in that, know that when others don't faith, stay faithful in you, trust in what you least expect as Christ did.